Hello and welcome to GSC at Home, bringing you a bit of science every day at 10am. My name is Natalie and today I want to talk about galaxies, what galaxies are, the different types of galaxies, and how you can help science by classifying real galaxies from home. So what are galaxies? Galaxies are systems in space bound by gravity that contain things like stars, dust and gas. Our galaxy is called the Milky Way, and that is where we live. Scientists thought for a really long time that the Milky Way was the only galaxy out there, that we live in what we call an island universe. But in the 1920s, Edwin Hubble and some more astronomers discovered that the universe was a lot bigger than we had previously thought, and that other galaxies were out there as well. Galaxies that come in all different shapes and sizes, and by looking at the shapes of different galaxies, we can tell a lot about them. In fact, they can even change shape over time as well. Hubble classified galaxies into three different types of shapes, and we still use those to classify galaxies today. The first type of galaxies are spiral galaxies, and these are probably the ones that we're most familiar with, because our Milky Way is a spiral galaxy. Spiral galaxies usually have a larger part at the centre, called the galactic bulge. This is where there's a supermassive black hole that the galaxy orbits around, and lots of high-mass exploding stars. Spiral galaxies also have a galactic disk. This is a flatter part that the spiral arms reach out into. And it's flatter because the galaxy is spinning, which flattens it out over time. We live just off one of our spiral arms, in a place in the Milky Way called the Orion Spur, about two-thirds away from the centre of our galaxy sort of in the unfashionable suburbs of the Milky Way. Spiral galaxies have a mix of younger and older stars. The younger stars usually live in the spiral arms where there's lots of dust and gas that can come together under gravity to form new stars. And the older stars usually live in the centre, in the galactic bulge. When we look out into space, we see lots of different spiral galaxies. Some we see face-on, like the Whirlpool Galaxy, and some we see edge-on, like the Sombrero Galaxy. Some of the amazing colours that we see in photos that we get from telescopes aren't actually colours that we would be able to see with our eyes. They're added by scientists to show different types of light that we can't see, that the telescopes can. Spiral galaxies can then be further classified into two different types, spiral and barred spiral. Barred spiral have bars that go through the galactic bulge in their galaxies, and about two-thirds of galaxies have a bar, including our Milky Way. The second type of galaxies are called elliptical galaxies, and these ones look a bit like blobs. They range from being perfectly round to being much more stretched out. And we think that these are the oldest galaxies. They have the oldest stars and a lot less gas and dust to create new stars with. We actually think that most elliptical galaxies are made from smaller spiral galaxies that merge together. In fact, our Milky Way is on a collision course with another galaxy called the Andromeda Galaxy, and we think someday they will collide to make a new supergalaxy and probably a more elliptical galaxy. We don't think that they will smash straight into each other though. They're going to do a sort of dance, spiralling around each other and getting closer to form a new galaxy. And no stars will actually hit each other because space is mostly space. They'll go past each other and create a new galaxy with the current working title of Milk Dromeda. But if you've got a better name, then let us know what you think the new super galaxy should be called down in the comments. Luckily, this won't happen for a few billion years, so it's not something we have to worry about just yet. The third type of galaxies are called irregular galaxies, and these are basically ones that don't fit into either of the other categories. They look quite chaotic, and for the smaller ones, this might be because they don't have enough gravity to pull themselves into a more organised shape. For the bigger ones, this might be because something has gravitationally disturbed them, maybe something has ripped through them, making them look like this. The smaller ones can actually orbit around bigger galaxies. These are called satellite galaxies, and the Milky Way has some satellite galaxies, including the Small Magellanic Cloud and the Large Magellanic Cloud. So now we can identify different galaxies, it's time to classify some for ourselves. There are lots of galaxies out there, at least a trillion in our observable universe, 
and scientists are finding new ones all the time. So many that they cannot possibly classify them all. They have created machines that can help classify galaxies, but these machines can get confused really easily, and sometimes they need a pair of human eyes to help them figure out what they're looking at. And you can help them. If you head over to Galaxy Zoo, you can sort through real images of galaxies and help the ones that the machines are stuck with, helping them get better. You might even see something new and exciting to point scientists towards and get credited with your very own discovery. I will leave the link to Galaxy Zoo down in the description and have fun galaxy hunting. Thank you so much for joining us at GSC at Home and we will see you tomorrow at 10am.